secondary sources. And these are sources with introductory background information about your topic. These can include stuff like textbooks, encyclopedias, research reviews, meta-analyses. And from there, you can get some general knowledge and start identifying uh, the next step of the resource process. Then you'll get to the primary sources, and these are reports of actual studies in refereed journals. So these are original research studies. From there, you can come up with general references that you can pull from these sources. General references are used to identify primary sources of actual studies. So, so you move from the general sources to the general references, and from there you can go to the bibliographies, the abstracts, the indices, and pull up specific studies that may help you, or specific sources that may help you. So here's a little graphic to help you test yourself on what you understand about primary sources, secondary sources, and in general references. A secondary source, what is that? Is it a publication with introductory background information? Is it a primary source, a publication that contains the reports of actual studies? Or is it a research report appearing in a referee journal? So each of these has its own definition. It's important to understand what a secondary source is. It's a publication with introductory background information on your topic. A general reference is a primary source or publication that contains the reports of actual studies, so abstracts, bibliography, stuff like that. And your primary source, which is the gold mine, is the research reports appearing in actual referee journals.